One of the things that you need to get confident in is you're using your sonar. We have so much awesome stuff available to us out there right now. Um, you know, I'm, I feel fortunate. I've got Hummerbird Solixes. I've got 360. I'm installing the Mega Live when I get home. Uh, I've got all this wonderful electronics, but I, you've got to spend some time using it. For instance, 360 is just a monumental uh, piece of equipment on your boat. In this instance, here's our boat here. You can see these, these appear to me look like bluegill beds, brim beds, they're spawning. And, um, and the 360 can show you all around your boat where all that exists. Well, I didn't know how to use it. I got it on my boat uh, a year and a half ago. And what I did was I, I took time and I recommend you do this. Go out, lock your rod lockers, spend time looking and working with your units, learning how these features work um, and how you can interpret it. One of the best ways to interpret the features is number one, go to a place where you know there's something there, like you know there's a brush pile there and you can put, let your 360 scan it, see what the brush pile looks like. You can visually see it and then you can see what it looks like on your 360 and you start to understand how it interprets things like grass lines, like bluegill beds, like fish, all the things you can see on a 360. But the key component is, is to get out there, spend some time working with this stuff. Nothing more important to me, uh, you know, I, as a tournament angler than uh, my side imaging units. Um, now, this to me is the best practice tool ever. Uh, when you're looking at a new body of water, you're going to do map study. You're going to do, you're going to re research like a tournament results and all that stuff. But nothing can duplicate getting out on the water, putting your side imaging on it and looking at all this wood and, and all this material that, you know, that's up here on top of this uh, flat over there. So that is huge. 2D sonar is something that I've used since the beginning. And here we have down imaging. But all this stuff is available to you now. But the only way to get to know it is do this. Because what we, we do, all of us do the same. We finally get a chance to go fishing. We pick up our rod. Jeff picks up his crankbait. And you just, you go down the bay and you, and you go fishing. And you don't take the time to learn this stuff. There's so many assets um, in your electronics. You got to spend some time with it. Here's another one that uh, you can really obsess on, Google Earth and Google Earth Pro. You can, uh, so much can be learned by, about a body of water uh, from, uh, you know, using this. When, it could be a body of water you fish all the time. And, um, and I, do this, I do this a lot, like you fish, I fish on the Chesapeake a lot, but I go on Google Earth there a lot and I can see things like, oh man, I forgot there's that little cut that sticks in there. Or, you know, look, there's a new dock uh, on this stretch of bank. I haven't been there for a while. You can see all that stuff. You can see docks, trees, uh, low water. You can look at the hyster historical images and find low water when, you know, different times of year. See all types of things that aren't on your map. Sometimes you can find the muddy water flows uh, as you look past some of the historical stuff and grass beds. Spend a lot of time uh, using Google Earth. It's a, it's a tremendous tool. That's you, folks. Information is pouring over. If you want to learn more about every lake, how to fish, shallow, deep, in between, skipping docks and rocks and cranking, slow wiggling, chatter smattering, you get it at Bash U. Get on Bash U TV, check it out, sign up, be a member, be part of it, folks. Keep learning.